just a normal family. A little awkward, sometimes weird, loud and crazy. Wait, did I say normal? Oops, my bad. Stick around. Get to know us. We have Cheyenne and Tyree. This is Savannah. I'm Michelle. And this is The Shell Bill Life. Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday. I'm so tempted to call in, you guys. I'm not sick or anything like that, and the lighting is really weird. Let's see if this will help. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, I'm not sick or anything like that. I'm exhausted. I'm so tired. Having time off, I thought I would at least have one day to relax and rest. But not really when you have family in town and you want to see them. And I at least thought I was going to have Sunday to relax. But then we ended up having the barbecue. Oh, so, yeah, I'm so tempted. I left out the house a little bit early today because I want to go get some coffee because I definitely need it. I got to bed on time last night. It was funny because when I got home from work yesterday, I mean, I was counting down the hours. I'm like, I have an appointment with my bed <laughs> and I need to go to sleep. I'm so tired. I do not want to go in today. I really don't. It's like, what excuse can I make to not go into work? But I'm going, y'all. I need to go to DMV to renew my tags. I can do that today. I need to take this hair down because it's a nappy hot mess. That's why I started wearing this. I don't know, you guys. I'm just rambling because I don't want to go. I'm just rambling because I'm tired. All right. And I brought my book to read on my lunch break. I forgot it yesterday. I'm not very far into it, you guys. I tried reading it here and there, but there was so much going on. So now I finally have time to settle down and read it. I don't know, you guys. I'm rambling. Maybe I shouldn't go in. I don't know. Let's see. We'll see. I'll decide as I'm driving. Why am I turning the air conditioner on? Okay. Y'all know I'm tired. All right, y'all. I made it to work. Y'all should have known I was coming. I mean, I talk big game and always say I'm going to call in, but I don't. I mean, there have been times I have called in, but not as much as I say I'm going to call in. That's just me talking because I'm tired or whatever. So I did end up getting my coffee. I just went to McDonald's. I normally get it from, um, lately I've been getting my coffee from, y'all, I'm so tired. I shouldn't even be working today. <laughs> from Dutch Brothers, but I just went to McDonald's today because, I don't know, I just did. Get this day over with so I can go stand in a long DMV line or I may not have to stand in a line I probably can just use that little kiosk and get my um tags that way what time is it okay I got one more minute what am I why am I bringing my book up y'all I really should be at home I really do not need to be out good thing I'm not working on teeth today because I'm I'm a mess oh my goodness you guys <sighs> let me tell you what just happened to me Kind of a long story, but I will do my best to shorten it. So, remember how I told you guys that I had to renew my tags? So, when I got the letter in the mail, I could have sworn it said June 4th, which is today, right? And I'm like, oh, I'll have time. I got it maybe back in, what's this, June? You know how they, I think they sent it two months before. So, when I first got it, I thought it said June 4th honestly and I put it on my dresser and didn't even think about it right I didn't even think about it the whole month of May thinking oh I have time and you know when June comes that's right when I get paid then I'll pay it then so I grabbed it this morning and I'm thinking I'll go after work because I get off at 3 30 and you know pay for it and go on about my business right so I don't know if you guys know but DMV, I don't know if all DMVs have it, but every DMV that I've been to in 
Sacramento has this kiosk where you don't have to stand in line. You can bring your registration and they scan that barcode. You can pay for your tags right then, cash, or you can put your card in and they print out your registration and they give you your sticker right then and there. So you don't have to stand in that long line. So I've been doing it that way for years. So that's what I was going to do. Right. So I looked at the registration and I'm glad I paid attention to it because y'all, the date said May 4th. My heart dropped and I'm thinking, okay, well maybe, you know, $35 in fees. Mm -mm. Y'all, it was $143 in fees. I've been riding around a month with expired tags, y'all. But because my sticker said May, I think that's the reason why, you know, no cop didn't stop me. So anyway, I'm getting so mad, mad at myself for not paying attention, mad at the government for, you know, all these fees and taxes they put on us. And I'm thinking, I'm like, you know what, there ain't nothing I can do about it. So I can either fuss about it and pay it or just deal with it and pay it. So it's either that or, you know, right around town with expired tags, which that's illegal. So I'm like, okay, whatever. But I started thinking, I'm like, I wonder if... I actually talked to someone, they'll waive the fees. And I'm so glad I didn't go to the kiosk because talking to an actual person. So there wasn't very many people in DMV today when I went, which totally surprised me. Usually every time I go there, every time I've been there, no matter what time of day, it's just crazy crowded. So I was in and out within, I would say 30 minutes, probably less than that, maybe like 25, 20, 25 minutes I was in and out. So I filled out this paper. I told a lady what happened and I filled out the paper. She said, you could explain, you know, why you would like the fees waived and all they could do is say yes or no. I'm like, okay, well, it's worth a try. So I called my number. I get up to the front and I told the guy, I said, you know what? I said, I'm be honest with you. I looked at it. I thought it says today's date and I put it aside. And is there any way my fees can be waived? He said, oh, don't worry. I'll take care of it for you. And he started joking and talking about other stuff. And I'm thinking, I'm like, Wow, so if I would have went to the kiosk machine, I would have had to pay $143 in those fees. But this leads me to believe that apparently the DMV worker, they have the authority to waive your fees if they choose to. So if I would have went up there with an attitude and entitled, like, you know, take these off, he probably would have said no. But yeah, he was just so sweet and nice about it. I was so happy, y'all. Oh my goodness, $143. That's a lot of money to pay extra just because you're late. That's crazy. But the moral of the story is when you get your DMV registration, make sure you pay attention to the date. Don't be like me because I don't know if everyone will be as lucky as me. So, yeah. Okay. It is 5 o'clock. I'm going to... See, this is what happens all the time. The day that I get paid, the kids know it and they're always like, oh, what are we getting for dinner? I could easily go to Winco to get food to cook. But y'all know me <laughs> and I do not feel like cooking today. So I'm just going to go spend money on food that I probably shouldn't. Yeah, I don't know. So it's flashing in the camera, but it's, but not, it's not flashing. Yeah. Wait, did that just light up? Yeah. It did. It, it did. The, yeah. is, it supposed to, is it supposed to shake? It's a vibrate. That's weird. We're at the habit, apparently. It's me and Tyreek and Cheyenne. I mean, Savannah. Good morning everyone. It is Thursday and I know you guys <laughs> can barely see me right now. But anyway, I'm leaving Elk Grove Nissan. Elk Grove Nissan is where I bought my last two cars. And let me tell you the whole story how I ended up there. It's 10.43 and I actually might go back into work. It was time for me to get my car serviced again, oil and rotate the tires and stuff like that. I knew I was gonna be taking a trip to San Francisco after Savannah's graduation. So I went and got an oil change. I should have, I really should have went to El Grove Nissan because that's usually where I get my oil changes from. But I'm like, hmm, let me find a coupon for another place that's a little bit less expensive and go there. So I went to Midas and got my oil change there. 
and he told me that I have a seepage in the main or the rear something of where my oil is and so for me to go to my dealership and get it fixed it should still be under warranty and whatever so he freaked me out I'm thinking I'm gonna have this huge big old problem so he said it's just a tiny seepage nothing that has to be done like right there you know it can wait a little bit but it, it needs attention so knowing that I called Elk Grove Nissan and I told them what they said what Midas said and he, he said the same thing okay it's no big deal it's not like urgent you don't have to come in right away but you know do make an appointment and come in so I actually was going to make an appointment with them for next Saturday not this Saturday because I have plans but next Saturday and so I didn't even think of it went to San Francisco car was fine whatever but yesterday when I came home I don't know for some reason I had backed out the car and I was doing something and I looked on the ground I seen this huge like you guys huge puddle of oil on my garage floor and mind you since I moved into my house none of my cars have leaked oil thankfully so I've never had to worry about that problem right so okay gotta think about where I am where I'm going me being me who I am I totally freaked out <laughs> I used um, PTO for this morning, and that's why I think I'm pretty much gonna go back because as you can see, I'm driving in my car. I used PTO for this morning, and I went to Elk Grove Nissan, and I brought them the paperwork from Midas, and I told them what they found, right? They took the car and checked it out. Of course, that takes forever. And at first they told me, you're gonna have to get a rental car because these things take maybe a day or two to fix. And, you know, you have warranty, you have up to five days, you know, because of the plan that I bought when I bought my car. So up to five days for a rental car. So I'm thinking, okay, whatever. At least it's under warranty. I don't have to worry about that. So after they checked everything out, they came to me and he said, you know what, ma'am? I should have stuck with the professional. And I'm not saying that the people at Midas are not professionals. So the reason why I had an oil leak that I never had before was due to Midas negligence. They said, and I'm trying to read this while driving, not very safe. They said verified oil leak from under engine area found leak at oil pan drain plug. Found plug not tightened and gasket not changed. Place gasket and torque down plug refilled oil and rechecked okay at this time so right now I'm actually on my way back to Midas to show them this paperwork and hopefully get partial or some of my money back because I didn't have to pay for parts or anything like that but I did have to pay for the oil that they put back in my car because of course they took everything out to see where the oil was leaking and stuff like that so I had to pay for that I should not have had to pay for Midas negligence and messing up and leaving stuff off or whatever. So I'm pretty upset and I started just to let it ride and I'm like, no, he freaked me out. He told me that, oh, you better get this taken care of because it can turn into you needing a whole nother engine. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I've had this car one year this shouldn't be happening he's all yeah I agree you know I see leaks like that in cars that have over a hundred thousand miles on it and my car has like a little over 13,000 hello everybody it is Friday I'm so happy to be home from work I am home alone I am so happy I'm looking at Boston because He's scratching at his ears. Anyway, the two older ones are at work and Savannah is actually with Evie. They're going to see a movie today. I think they're going to see Ma with her and, well, Savannah, Evie, and some of the their other friends that graduated. So I am home alone. Well, me in Boston. Say hi. Tell everyone, hey. I will let you guys know an update shortly. And yes, I have to put everything on the couch right there because he doesn't know how to pick one spot. He wants the whole couch to himself. So that's why I have to put the blanket there. And then over there, I'll put his bed. And then he can be on the couch. Right? Isn't that right? He looks so sad when Savannah's not here. But then he'll follow me like, well, I guess you'll do. So anyway, I am about to, well, not right now, maybe a little bit later because I'm... 
I'm really tired, you guys. I'm probably going to take a nap. So I'm going to take my hair down. It is time. So I probably won't vlog a whole lot today because taking down the hair is a process. And then afterwards with washing and flat ironing and all that other junk. So, yeah, I don't know how much footage. What are you doing? Boston. Yeah, so anyway, I don't know how much footage I am going to show. I'm tired. You guys know when I'm tired, I can't think straight. What am I saying? I don't know. What are you doing over there? Huh? What are you doing? Oh wow. <gasps> Did something happen over here too? They even started over there. Look. Oh my great. We are at Arden Mall. I know I really didn't open up the vlog today, but it's just Savannah and I right now. We dropped up Tyreek. You've seen us at, I'll tell you guys in a sec. Okay, this thing is playing music and it reminds me of being at Disneyland. I don't know why. Probably because a little bit before they was playing the music that you hear on the carousel. Okay, so we are back home now. And yes, and as you can see, my hair is down, my ponytail is on. So I know I didn't really open up the vlog and tell you guys where we were in the beginning. So I was at my friend Tracy's house. That was her and her husband and her family, her brothers, which are like my brothers also because I lived with them when we were younger for an extended amount of time. So I call her mom, mom. I call her brothers. I call them my brothers. My kids call them aunt and uncle and same thing with their family with my kids call them their cousins and stuff like that. So anyway, her youngest daughter graduated as well. So they had a graduation party and that's what we were all there for and had so much fun. And then after that we left, Savannah went to back to the mall because she wanted to return something and she still hasn't edited her video for her channel or anything like that. So I don't think she wants me to show. You don't want me to show what you got right now, right? Okay, no, she doesn't want me to show what she got because she is going to do it on her channel and you guys will see it on her channel eventually, right? She said yes. So now we are at home. I'm exhausted. So, why you put her on me? I hope it's inside. Let me get a from the graduates. Good afternoon, everyone. It is Monday, and yes, I'm at home in my pajamas. It's four o'clock, so y'all know me. I think I told you guys this before. When I get home from work, I waste no time. I got off a little bit early today, so I came home. I didn't have anywhere to go. I jumped in the shower and put my PJs on. Oh, yes, I did. Very boring. Anyway, it is 100 degrees, you guys. 100 degrees. I don't Look at that. It feels every bit of 100 degrees. What happened to spring? We just went from winter to summer. No in between. This is crazy. And tomorrow, it's supposed to be 103. And then in the 90s, the rest of the week. Crazy. Nothing much has been going on. Well, actually, maybe not a lot, but a little bit has been going on. So my mom's pastor that is out in L.A. where she lives, he passed away on Saturday and he had cancer. He had like a mass in his stomach. He had cancer. He chose not to take chemo, which a lot of people don't take chemo or anything like that especially if they battled cancer before so he chose not to do it and 
yeah, um, he passed away on Saturday. So he actually used to be my pastor a long time ago when I was a teenager. I didn't think it was going to hit me as hard as it did. Yeah, we were very close to the family when I was younger. And then my mom moved out there when he started his church there. So it's not like I didn't see them or, or didn't keep in contact with them. So whenever they have the funeral, um, I'm going to be making a trip up to L.A. maybe in a couple of weeks. Um... For the funeral so that's that I don't have any new updates on my old co-worker the last update I gave you guys was the last thing that I heard you know what I realized I haven't given you guys like a dental story or anything like that in a while so today you guys I cannot make this stuff up I cannot so we have this lady who on the schedule it said hide post-it notes and I'm thinking, why are we hiding the post-it notes? Is she a thief? <laughs> Does she steal post-it notes? Is she, I, I don't know. Why are we hiding the post-it notes? So I asked one of the other ladies, I'm like, okay, it said for this patient that we are to hide post-it notes. What's going on? And they told me that she, the patient, is afraid of post-it notes. And when she told me this, I thought, she was just joking or whatever and I'm looking at her like she's crazy she's looking at me like yeah this is what it is so yeah this patient she is afraid of post-it notes and they gave me the story I guess when she first came in um, she was getting her teeth cleaned and the hygienist pulled the post-it notes out of her drawer to write something on there and the lady completely freaked out started screaming and whatever and I know it's mental when you look at her, she looks normal, whatever, because I'm like, I want to see this person. I want to see what she looks like that is afraid of post-it notes. So, yeah, when she's on the schedule, we have to literally put the post-it notes away. We do have post-it notes, like, on the computer and stuff like that, and we had to hide them. And when she came to check in, she was, like, looking over the counter. She stood back a little bit, like I guess she didn't want to get close to the counter. I realized people really can be afraid of objects. I mean, and I'm trying to think of it, okay, what if it was a spider, you know, and somebody pulled out a spider? Yeah, I freak out also, but I don't know, just to be afraid of an object. Have you guys ever heard anything like that? Do you guys know of anyone or do you guys know anyone that is afraid of an object? So it was just weird. So when I was checking her out today, she stood like away from the counter and I knew what she was doing and she kept just scanning looking making sure there wasn't any post-it notes there and you know I put them all the way whatever but it was just weird for me to see that so yeah you guys that was really weird and oh yeah you guys can see I took my weave out so I'm back to my own natural hair right now so I will get it done eventually and also let me tell you something that like is a pet peeve of people in healthcare professional. I'm sure it's in a dental office. I'm sure it's in a medical. I'm sure it's well anywhere that you go. When a patient is late, okay, things happen. You can be late, whatever, right? So they get there and they're late. And a lot of times the hygienist or whoever's going to call them back is usually ready to go. So they ask to go to the bathroom. Okay, you know what, whatever. But what really gets me is you get there and you're out in the waiting room waiting for your appointment and then you know you have to use the restroom but you don't want to get up because I've been there you don't want to get up in case they call you but because I've been on the other end I've told the receptionist hey I'm gonna use the restroom that way if they call me you know they can know where I am but no a lot of people wait until they're called me like oh I gotta go to the restroom please don't do that y'all please let the receptionist know you have to go to the restroom and then you know yeah and one thing that we do that irks me and it all depends on who you work under what office manager my office now okay you guys we give people 10 minute leeway after 10 minutes you may need to reschedule your appointment depending on what we're doing for you that day right so this office here if your appointment is at 10 and it's 1002 yeah technically they're late but they're freaking out, they're panicking. I'm like, it's been two minutes. The person could be at the light. They could be getting out of the car. They could be walking up to the building. It's two stinking minutes. My office does it all the time, even at one minute. Oh, it's 10.01, they're late. Y'all, It's they're not, they're not late, they're on time. So that is one of the things that we do that bugs me. And now, 
I know I'm probably opening up a can of worms by saying this, but what are some things that has happened to you guys that annoy you guys about the receptionists, about the people in the dental field, and we can discuss it. Like I said, I'm probably opening up a can of worms, but hey, it's not fair for me to give all my stories and say, this is what we hate when the patients come in without hearing feedback from you guys. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys do not like about going to the dentist other than going to the dentist. <laughs>